Hacking of 433 MHz devices is a human right for makers, because these devices usually use proprietary protocols. Today we will give a treat especial to a so-called professional weather station from China and enable it to send its data via MQTT. Then we will hack the remote control of our outdoor awning and use an ESP32 to build a fake twin, which understands MQTT. And we use the most sophisticated hacking equipment you can buy for $10 plus a Raspberry Pi. You will be astonished how professional this will get. Gritty YouTubers, here is the guy with a Swiss accent, with a new episode and fresh ideas around sensors and microcontrollers. 433 MHz devices are everywhere these days. They are cheap and because they do not need a lot of power, they run for years on one battery. You get sensors and actuators. Unfortunately, most of them are closed systems and only work in proprietary configurations. Like that, they are useless for our projects. But because we are makers, we will change that. The process to do it is always more or less the same. For sensors, we have to find out the transmission standard, we have to hack the protocol, and we have to build a receiver which can read the messages and send them via MQTT. And for actuators, we also have to find out the transmission standard and hack the protocol. And then we have to build a device which understands MQTT and can create fake 433 MHz messages. To kill two birds with one stone, I will show you this process by repairing our automatic awning. Outdoor awnings do not like too much wind because it easily destroys them. This is why you can buy them with motor and remote control, as well as a small weather station which sends a retract signal if there is too much wind. Our awning worked for years and now the wind sensor died. As usual, I did not find a spare part. And of course, the system is entirely proprietary. I did not find any information about it. This is why I bought a weather station which sends data to a display. This device is also entirely proprietary. The plan is to read the wind sensor data and create a signal for the motor if it has too much wind. The planned system will have a receiver which reads the 433 MHz messages from the weather station and creates MQTT messages. These messages will be sent to my node red where I define the rules. Node red will then create a retract MQTT message if the wind speed is too high and send it to an ESP32, which creates a 433 MHz signal using one of these cheap transmitters. But how can we hack these high frequency signals without expensive equipment? We use an astonishing new technology called Software Defined Radio. It enables us to read and decode any radio signal using software instead of hardware. Another dividend of the famous digitalization. Frequent viewers know that I plan to do an introduction to the topic. For today, we just use it. We only need this dongle and a Raspberry Pi. As usual, I prepared an image for your Raspi. If you write it to an SD card, you are ready to go. A special thank goes to Frank, HB9FXQ, who wrote a manual for installing all the tools needed for today's hack and many more. You can use this paper to install the tools either on your Linux box or in a virtual machine. My Raspberry image does not contain all software packages because it is too weak for the more elaborate stuff. But for today's work, it is perfect. I know that my weather station and my awning motor use 433 MHz. This is why I use a software which is precisely made for hacking such devices. It is called RTL underscore 433. And you start it with this command. Fortunately, the software knows already a lot of sensors and can decode its messages. And I'm lucky that it also understands mine and it starts to display the messages. 
and it also receives all signals from outdoor sensors of my neighborhood. So if your neighbor already has a weather station, you can save the money and piggyback. To filter all unwanted sensors, I select the make of my station. Like that, RTL 433 only displays my messages. And because our image already contains Mosquito as an MQTT publisher, we pipe the messages into Mosquito Pub using this command. Now we get a JSON message every minute or so. Here we see the message in Node-RED. If you do not know how to set up Mosquito or Node-RED, maybe you want to watch my videos number 126 to 128. This was easy. We were able to stand on the shoulders of some very skilled colleagues which shared their know-how. Thank you for all that effort. Will we be so lucky for our next step? Unfortunately not. If I press the remote control of my awning, RTL 433 does not show any message. So we are on our own. As with rockets, we now have to fire up the second stage. We have to close RTL 433 and start the universal radio hacker. This tool can be used for all kinds of signals. To record a signal, we first have to detect the dongle and select the frequency. Next, we press start and press one of the buttons on the remote to create a signal. Then we press stop. We see that the remote sends packages as long as we push the button. Now we can zoom into one packet and see that it consists of short and long pulses followed by gaps. We save the signal and close the capture screen. Now we have to interpret what we captured. Because our signal is switched on and off, it is called OOK or on-off keying. Another name for it is AS key or amplitude shift keying. We select this modulation and get the universal hacker auto-detect the signal. It shows us his proposed data content. Fortunately, the remote always repeats the same code and does not change it. More elaborated remotes use so-called rolling keys, where keys are altered according to a cryptographic method. There we do not have a big chance to get a clone working. Fortunately, most of this cheap stuff is also simple. Now we know the code of one button. We do the same for all other commands and take notes. The last step is to measure the times used by the signal. We select a particular part of the signal and get the time. Hacking done. Next step, build an ESP32 which understands MQTT and creates precisely the required signals. I used the example file of the async MQTT library as a base and added a few lines of code to generate the timing of the required signals. If you have a closer look, you see that it consists of short and long pulses and short and long gaps. I name the short and long pulses S and L and the short and long gaps G and P. The gap between signals gets the code N. I discovered that I need three different signals. Retract, extend and set the awning to manual operation. You find the definitions here. And here you see a small parser which reads these letters and creates the signal on pin 4. If I connect one of these cheap 433 MHz transmitters to pin 4, I can steer the awning using MQTT commands. Exactly what I wanted. Summarized, we used one of these cheap SDR RTL dongles together with a Raspberry Pi and a ready-made SD image to create our ultimate $10 hacking device. We used RTL 433 to decode the protocol of our weather station. Fortunately, its protocol was known to the tool. In the end, we piped the weather station messages into Mosquito Pub and created MQTT messages. These MQTT messages efficiently can be processed by Node-RED. Next, we had to hack the remote control. This time, the protocol was not known to RTL 433, and we had to use the universal radio hacker 
to decode the signal and its timing for all needed commands. Then we wrote a small sketch for an ESP32 to listen to the MQTT commands and create the signals required to move the awning. As a last step, a cheap 433 MHz transmitter was added to create the message and send it to the awning. Now I only have to print a small housing for the ESP32 and the transmitter and place it in the proximity of Wi-Fi and the awning. And of course I can use the weather signals for all kind of other things. Maybe you have some ideas? One remark at the end. I was not able to make the sketch run on an ESP8266. It always crashed and I gave up. I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. If true, please consider supporting the channel to secure its future existence. You find the links in the description. Thank you. Bye.